All right, how do we actually find the inverse of a function? Well, here's our steps right here. So step one, replace f of x with y. I can do that. dx plus one, so that's step one. Step two, interchange x and y. So where I see y becomes x, where I see x becomes y, no problem. Solve for y. I can do that too. So I probably would subtract 1 on both sides, and that would give me x minus 1 equals 3y. And then I would divide both sides by 3. And that gives me x minus 1 over 3 equals y. And that's my step three. And then finally, the last step four is to simply where you see the y, turn it into the inverse, and then what you actually solved. So x minus 1 over 3 would be the inverse of 3x plus 1.